so that he gets in like halfway through the second half and he's like I knew me and my girlfriend were perfect for each other because she once took a meme of a horse to the hairdresser to describe what she wanted done to her hair. <laughs> Sweet moments. The coolest experience of my entire impressioning career the other day. I um I was at his gig, yeah. the, the um, Heckler's, Heckler's Welcome. Heckler's Welcome, yeah. yeah. And uh, I really wanted to go, but I didn't get tickets. Mm -hmm. And then one of my best mates, shout out Ollie, um, <laughs> he was like, oh, I'm, I actually can't go now to, 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 to the gig. Do you want to go? Do you want my ticket? And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd love your ticket. You know, he gets in, like halfway through the second half and he's like, I knew me and my girlfriend were perfect for each other because <laughs> she once took a meme of a horse to the hairdresser to describe what she wanted done to her hair. <laughs> and I was like, great. That's so funny. That does fit the, the the description of exactly what I would imagine James Acaster would would be with. Yeah, you know, yeah. Other yeah. than someone who was into Mr. Bean, but yeah. um, <laughs> it was. Uh, and then he goes, "What if anyone's ever taken a meme of me to the hairdresser? Walked in for uh, with a meme from Bake Off. Walked out with a haircut like Paul Hollywood." <laughs> <laughs> and then and then he goes like, um, I, "I'm sure you all know the meme I'm I'm talking about." And I was I was like this. Is a golden opportunity. Yes, the god. This is. Have and there was like a the good. There was like a good three second gap mm -hmm. after you said. I was like, this is prime opportunity for me to do this. I like didn't even look across because I was like, I can't look at these guys right now. Yeah. And I went. Start making it. Had a breakdown. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and the, it was like a must have been like a five hundred capacity venue. It was the roundhouse in Camden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, Every single person there lost it. They were like <laughs> fully creasing. It was so, so, so good. And like, it died down. And then he was like, yeah, that's exactly what that moment was missing. Subtext. Thanks very much. <laughs> and he was like, a very good impression though. Unless you just sound like that. In which case, I'm very sorry. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I was like, and then he was like, he, he went back to the, the thing he'd done in the first half about impressions. Yeah. He was like, Oh, imagine if imagine because basically the story was that he had wanted to enter a school talent show to do an impression but didn't yeah. know how to do any yeah. so he wanted to do one of Prince Charles yeah. and so he went home he stood in front of his mirror and he's like I'm going to try and do this Prince Charles impression uh -huh. he goes to do it does it once and it's so bad that he ends up crying for about an hour oh, and a half what? afterwards so he's like he's like that was, the end of, that was the end of my impressions career. Never did another impression after that. And he goes, he goes, imagine if you'd been in my school talent show. Not only is that a better impression than any impression I can do, that's a better impression of me than me. <laughs> and, I was like, and so in response, I was like, I was like, fair play, man. Fair play. <laughs> and then it was quite funny because like he was trying to move on and then like the audience was like laughing like slightly over what I was saying. Yeah. So he went, no, 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 shh, 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 shh. Okay, be, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. And he was like, do that one more time. And I was like, fair play, man. Fair play. He's like, that's a really weirdly good impression. I don't like the fact that you're just <laughs> in the audience for the rest of my show. How am I supposed to carry on when there's a man with my voice just sitting up there somewhere that I can't even see? What if I, what? I was like, I was like thinking, I was like, what if I'm here from the future? I was going to shout out, like, what if I'm here from the future? And you have no idea. But no, I was like, I was like, going to let him carry on with his thing. Yeah, but then he, yeah. was like, he was like, right. The, the end of it was he was like, right, I want you to, to memorize the rest of my set. We'll get you on at the end. You can do the second half again. Everyone gets an extra half the <laughs> ticket of their, of their payment back. Um, and that was such a cool moment. It was, and he was really nice about it as well. Yeah, yeah, which, yeah. Which, like, I was worried that he would kind of be like, right, I'm just going to completely move on. Ignore this guy. Yeah. He was a total yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's a show called Heckler's Welcome. Yeah, I mean, you kind of you kind of have to. That's a very nice heckle. Yeah, exactly. Hear, like, it's like, I'm such a fan of you that I've learned your voice. Mm. Here you go. A present from me to you. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So did anyone, like, do mean heckles? Oh, yeah. There were some really bad heckles that night. Like, you could tell that these people would come in there and just, like, it's like, oh yeah, geez, I'm gonna fuck it. Oh, you're gonna watch this, mate. I'm gonna, oh, I'm gonna get him. <laughs> this is just your and impression like, of a geezer. Yeah, it's just a geezer. Just he's a like, geezer. Sat, like, because he was sat directly in front of me to the left with like three blokes. Yeah. And um, after I did, because that was the first heckle of the night, like halfway yeah. through the second half, me yeah. me doing my impression. And I think, sadly, as much as I was glad that I did it, I think it slightly opened it up. Yeah. To everyone else, then doing their little heckles. I see. And a guy in front of me completely out of nowhere yeah just kind of went just like in the middle of just like quite a sense he was talking about like how he he was thinking about giving up comedy and stuff yeah, and in yeah. the middle of it he just goes your mum should have swallowed you oh. and, <laughs> and everyone just looked no one really laughed and everyone just kind of looked around like do you really just say that now <laughs>
that was a really bizarre and <laughs> an inappropriate time to choose to do that like i get it you've read the poster we understand you don't you want to come in oh, here and you want to do a little hackle to yourself oh, but that's bad that's so funny and then I think uh, I think I can't really remember this because I was buzzing at this point. I, could, I, could, I was like so I was like, I couldn't hear the rest of the set because yeah, I was yeah. just like so like I can't believe he's just heard my impression. Mm-hmm. But um, earlier in the the thing, James had said um, that his normal response. Oh, he'd been at a thing where someone was really mean about his mum, yeah. and his response was my mum died really recently and the whole crowd just died because he was like like not laughed just like literally was dead for the rest of the evening because they were like oh my god oh my god that man's just said something about his mum and his mum's dead recently that's really bad and so of course the guy then obviously completely forgot about that in yeah, the beginning, yeah. and then said oh your mum should have swallowed you and Jen just went just so you know, my mum's dead <laughs> really recently. And like everyone like lost it because obviously it was a callback that we knew that his yeah, mum was dead. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah. But it was it was so good. And he really like warmed like and then I think someone else called out like, Your girlfriend left you for Mr. Bean. And he was like, You can't you I told you that. I said that to you. You can't then use that against me. That's not how that works. I'm literally giving you that on a silver platter. You've got to do your own research, man. <laughs> If I make fun of myself about it first, you can't then use it against me. <laughs> um, and then, <laughs> but yeah, no, it was a great night. He's so, he's he's a really good comic. He's he like is, really he's genuinely just so solid every time. He is so talented, and it's like. <laughs>